Namaste. All those who are present here at the Netherlands, it's a very happy occasion that uh, all of you have joined in the celebration of the 100th death anniversary of Lokmanya Tilak. Friends, uh, while paying tributes to Lokmanya Tilak, I would try to share some of uh, my thoughts about Lokmanya Tilak, his life and his mission. As all of us know, Lokmanya Tilak was perhaps the first political leader of modern India to appreciate the importance of uh, identity issues. And when I say identity, it is not something very primordial. In fact, uh, social scientists all over the world have now realized that identity plays a key role in uh, mobilizing people for development or for a particular cause. And therefore, Tilak realized that identity could be a tool to make inroads in the minds of an otherwise docile society. Once that is done, people could be motivated to join struggle for independence. I believe this explains Lokmanya's clarion call for Swaraj and Swadeshi. And let me add here that his idea of Swaraj was not just confined to home rule, self-rule, or independence, or freedom. Swaraj and the idea of Swaraj, according to him, was so enormous that it incorporated concepts like Swadeshi, Swabhasha, and Swabhusha, which is your own language, your mother tongue, and your own kind of uh, appearance, your own presentation which is Swabhusha as well. In both Swaraj and Swadeshi, Swa or Self is common. Striving for self-dependence in Lokmanya's strategy was the stepping stone for independence. And therefore, Lokmanya along with Annie Besant started uh, the Home Rule Movement as we all know. Lokmanya Tilak wanted people to realize their own strength. This was possible only through inculcating habits for both collective thinking as well as action. For this cultivation of an enlightened collective mind, he used media in the form of two newspapers, Kesari and Maratha, and national education through the decadent education society which he established, which now has become an institution of repute in higher education especially. His formula for preparing ground for political activism through culture, education and media was so powerful that later on Mahatma Gandhi, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and several other leaders also took the same path. As we know, both Mahatma Gandhi and Dr. Ambedkar as well were running newspapers and were also into spread of education. Lokmanya Tilak friends belong to the rare category of philosopher-politician. His Swaraj and Swadeshi were, were anchored into the idea of awakening of the Swa or the Self of every Indian and making him or her conscious of the insult and injustice meted out by the British. Not only did Lokamanya proclaim from the rooftop that Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it, but he prepared a fertile ground through his home rule movement. Tilak was very clear in his mind as to what was the exact aim of Home Rule Movement. The very tone and tenor of his demand was strategically conciliatory. He ensured that he doesn't appear confrontationist for the sake of the larger objective before him. Once he wrote, and I quote, India was like a son who had grown up and attained maturity. It was right now what the trustee of the father should give him what was his due. The people of India must get this effected. They have a right to do so. Notably, Tilak almost had a blueprint of post-independence India ready in his thinking. For him, Swaraj was also like Swabhasha 
and Swabhusha, that is mother tongue and the indigenous attire. Perhaps he was the first national leader who envisioned formation of linguistic states. I mean, arguing with flawless logic, he envisaged that in independent India, and I am quoting, we should for one separate state, each for Marathi, Telugu and Canary provinces, which is Kannada provinces. The principle that education should be given through the vernaculars, it's self-evident and clear. Do the English educate their people through the French language? Do Germans do it through English or Turks through French? Even in the Congress party session, he used to insist that delegates should address in their provincial language. Friends, Tilak was a master strategist and he adroitly used two things, constitutionalism and democracy, which were very close to the Britishers and they used to boast about these and he used both these things to his maximum advantage. To that end, he used his passion and professional acumen as editor and pleader dexterously. His editorials were not only hard-hitting, but were very well argued and still carefully worded in order to avoid legal implications. All along, he attempted showing mirror to the rulers, irrefutably pointing out their double standards, causing a crass denial of democratic rights to Indians. Tilak was also known for not mincing the words. However, a scholar at heart, Tilak used both activism in the field as well as opinion to hasten slowly the attain, to attain the goal of Swaraj, something his fellow congressmen were weary of talking loudly about at that point of time. So this was the passion and uh, this was the life mission of Lokmanya Tilak. Therefore, when today, on the day of his 100th death anniversary, we remember Tilak, we have to remember his message of Swaraj, which encompasses Swadeshi as well, and also protection of your identity, protection of the Swar, protection of what you are. I wish this program every success. Thank you very much.